Hey MetaFam, Peeweezo here. Welcome to the channel. Quite a few interesting things we can talk about this week on the MetaZoo News. So last thing we talked about in the last episode was the MetaZoo Times Hello Kitty and Friends uh, collaboration uh, at San Diego Comic-Con. So there were eight Hello Kitty and Friends promotional cards that you can get. You can get Karopi, you can get Choco Cat, you can get the little, oh, forgot the name of it, Rainbow Cloud Bunny. Uh, you can get My Melody, Kurami, Hello Kitty, Pudding Dog, which is not the name on the card, and Bad Bats Maru. Uh, secondary market-wise, it seems like Hello Kitty is the winner of this collaboration, which I think is going around like, what, like 350 uh, US dollars right now. And then in second place is Choco Cat. And the reason why Choco Cat is going for a decent price is because uh, one of the giveaways that they had at San Diego Comic Con was actually canceled because the lines at <laughs> to get these promos at San Diego Comic Con was too long, and the convention had to call the fire marshal, and they had to do the giveaway of the the bracelets in order to get the cards outside the convention. It was pretty crazy, but yeah, so that's the reason why Choco Cat is a little bit more limited, and of course Hello Kitty being Hello Kitty, and everyone else is around, I'd say like the seventy five dollars to a hundred dollars mark. Um, so yeah, secondary market talk a little bit there. Uh, here's Mike saying, I want to give a huge thanks to all the staff members involved in San Diego Comic Con and of course, all the fans who showed up. You and old that demonstrated such a passion for MetaZoo that for the first time in Comic Con history, a booth had to be shut down because the lines were too long. In particular, I want to all to join me congratulating Chaos Crystal Enthusiasts, uh, 70 apples tall. Um, that is Andy, uh, Chief what do you call it? chief product officer and where his name come from is apples tall is because hello kitty is what like six apples tall or something like that so he's doing his measurement in apples talls as well um yeah so good job metazoo then you did a really good job at san diego comic-con and actually brought in a lot of new uh, faces to the metazoo community as well uh because in the discord uh, i do believe that there is a lot more new people in here that um yeah discovered MetaZoo through uh, getting these promos and just wanted to get a little bit more into uh, what MetaZoo is about. So good job, guys. Uh, next news we have is little eyeballs and full set of dual auras that are given to partner stores of MetaZoo. So you can see here, um, actually, if you go into zoom into here, you can actually see that there's a little partner stamp on the bottom right here. Uh, initially, I couldn't see it because the first picture I saw was this uh, um, sacrificial stone fusion aura, but I couldn't see any symbol here. But if you see on some of the other cards, you can see the partner symbols on most of them. And it seems to be like a pack of uh, dual aura cards and not just uh, a single card itself. So um, yeah, this is a nice little treat for the partner stores with MetaZoo. Uh, and the reason why they are getting these is because of the native delays that occurred um, during the initial release of native. There was actually like a product shortage. Only a few of the partner stores got a lot of the uh, the stock, I would say. And now that there was the second release of the native products, uh, native being one of the main MetaZoo sets, that's after Seance. Um, yeah, so a lot of people have the product now, and these dual auras are the chase cards of the native set, and these are very playable as well uh, in tournaments. And I believe like Flame Tower, a lot of people use the the Flame uh, Flame and Earth aura. I guess these are all somewhat Flame. No, whatever the Flame ones are. I'm not a Mezu player myself, so I can't 100% say it, but I do know a lot of other players, and they are looking for dual auras still. Uh, next news we have is public service announcement. Announcement: We have always and always will support those MetaZoo fans that wish to put the word MetaZoo as part of their social media account names. We consider it an honor. And so some context about this as well. So in the Instagram world, uh, there's a lot of people in, into Pokemon and Pokemon. There's like Poke Chloe, there's King Pokemon, there's uh, like Poke Legends. There's a lot of people with Poke in their names. And the thing about it is Poke Rev, um, he's like, I think one of the biggest Pokemon YouTubers out there does box breaks. He actually made a video saying that his Instagram account uh, was about to be banned because of the name. Um, and he actually knows a few other people as well that actually 
um, tried to appeal the decision with uh, Instagram and they instantly got their account banned. So a lot of the Pokemon community uh, people, they changed their Instagram names to something else because uh, it seemed like, I don't know if, I don't think anyone is sure. Maybe Pokemon was cracking down on people that had Pokemon in their name uh, for like uh, intellectual property reasons. Or I've also heard that it was because there was card Pokemon cards shown in the pictures itself as the main topic. And those people are getting um, like a strike against them as well on Instagram. So for whatever reason, what it is, um, Pokemon, Poke in the name is off limits. And this is just MetaZoo saying that they support all content creators and all fans that wish to use MetaZoo or I guess Meta or Zoo in their name. Um, yeah. So thanks uh, MetaZoo for being a... Uh, great supporter of your fans. And as of now, which is August uh, 2023, it seems that a lot of people, the content creators for the Pokemon, um, they have put Poke back in their name. So it seems to be have been resolved, but it was a weird few days that a lot of people didn't know what was going on. So that was my little ramble about why this public service announcement was uh, put here by Mike. Uh, next announcement we have is CCE being very cryptic again. Uh, and it says, can anyone read me dot, 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 search and rescue on route? And this was a surprise drop on the MetaZoo marketplace that a lot of people did not expect. Um, it was $8 per pack. And it was these called MetaZoo disclosure pages. I do believe that. So this kind of relates to the UFO uh, hearings that the US government is having right now saying that like extraterrestrials may actually be actually be real. So I think um, MetaZoo is kind of uh, building on top of that or capitalizing on it and trying to hyping up the UFO, different UFO theme cards that they have. Uh, and it seems like, look, it's so top secret that it won't even load <laughs> in the Discord. But it, from the pictures that we can see here, it does look like, a, like a, I guess, like a lab table. And I'm guessing these kind of like relate to UFO of some type. And it, it could actually be uh, the UFO cards or some of the artwork that wasn't used actually in the UFO set that is actually going to be used um, uh, for these, these product. Um, they are no longer on the MetaZoo marketplace. But for those that got it, really excited to see what you're going to get uh, from those packs. And here's another build up with it, a signal weakening, transmission ending soon. And that was just uh, Andy giving a hint to everyone that these products would be pulled off the marketplace soon. Um, next news, just a whole pile of cute. And I think MetaZoo is really starting to make the explosive, explosive rabbit into like a, a mascot of some sort. So as here, we can see the plushies. This is for the flame tower that actually occurred um, last weekend. And the flame caster, what was his name again? Was it Franklin Chang? Let me see. Frederick Chang. So congratulations. He's the new uh, flame tower caster. He won the flame tower there. But yeah, um, so Explosive Rabbit is a mascot definitely of um, the flame tower. And if we go down a bit more, we can see this other news. We see Explosive Rabbit again. There was, of course, throwing an explosive a pumpkin. And it says uh, Halloween or I guess the pumpkin jack-o'-lantern will be cuter than you can ever imagine this year. I think this is MetaZoo trying to build upon what they've done with Hello Kitty at San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, they have reeled in some of the newer fans, uh, which is great. And I think they kind of want to continue the little cuteness a little bit uh, with, uh, with the explosive rabbit, which is very family friendly artwork. And uh, for those that need a reminder of what the explosive explosive rabbit looks like here's the card um it's a it's a common card yeah it's a common card or bronze card that's in the wilderness set and yeah so it's explosive rabbit cute little guy next news we have is um as the nat last news and it says just updated wanted to see more want to see more cool metazoo comic-con exclusive let us know with your votes and this is a link to the San Diego Comic-Con uh, blog, and uh, it's to vote for the best free swag category. So we can take a quick look at what the website actually looks like there. But apparently there is the Shruggy Awards there that I guess after the convention, they'll ask you for different categories um, and for people to vote for what it is. And whoever wins, I guess, maybe gets a 
better slot or some special time at on the stage or something like that at the Comic Con next year. So we have what was the best panel at San, San Diego Comic Con? Uh, we don't have MetaZoo there. Who was the best panelist? What was the best offsite of San Diego Comic Con? Who had the best party? Who had the best booth? I was looking for MetaZoo. Unfortunately, they are not there. I actually don't know what this is. Maybe fill it in your own. Maybe type in MetaZoo. <laughs> but there's no word to type, though. But the one that I believe Andy wanted everyone to do is uh, what was the best free swag of San Diego Comic-Con 2023? And we can see here, I already voted. So it's already checked off. But it's uh, MetaZoo times Hello Kitty promo card. And there's 8%. So it's pretty good. You know, one, two, three, four, five, you know, top six, 155 votes. So if you haven't voted yet, definitely give a vote for MetaZoo. So that's all the news for this week. Uh, it's, yeah, like I said, there were some pretty interesting things that went on. That's some of it was like outside of MetaZoo, right? And just uh, some little updates that MetaZoo had. Uh, I skipped over actually a lot of this, which was just the giveaways that they had for the Flame Tower. Um, something that they do every uh, convention and every event and tower or tournament or casters cup that they have. Um, if you join the Twitch stream, you can watch the games being played and it during the intermission. Um, like Emilio Emilio and uh, Logan and uh, Fajir usually give out some uh, giveaways that are the promo cards that you can only get at the event. So yeah, so please leave a comment down below of what you thought of the MetaZoo news this week. Uh, did you go to the Flame Tower? Did you enjoy it? Do you want to see more, I guess, Hello Kitty collaborations? I'm pretty ex actually pretty excited for this uh, Halloween set that's coming on. I do prefer more, I guess, cutesy aspect of the MetaZoo. But yeah, leave a comment down below. I'd really love to hear what you have to say. Uh, please leave a like for the video. Please subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And as always, keep on casting, and I'll see you guys next time.